So, I have been working on this Arduino project that has multiple I2C sensors and devices. I always get stuck why my sensor is not sending me the correct readings or my I2C LCD display or OLED is not displaying correctly, especially when I am prototyping. The missing crucial step is that you forgot to check if your microcontroller successfully detected your devices. I have here an ESP32, an SSD1306 OLED, an I2C LCD display, and a PCF8575 port expander. Before you start programming, make sure that your Arduino-powered microcontroller should detect your I2C devices by running this Arduino I2C scanner sketch. This would print the I2C addresses of all your I2C devices. And if you see this, then it would save you a tons of headache later. This is often a very basic thing to do that gets neglected by Arduino newbies and later costs a lot of time figuring out the, the issue later. Let us discuss more about this topic the rest of the video. Donsky Tech. If you are working on an epic Internet of Things project and you receive an I2C sensor or devices, then chances are you might be excited to write code to program your device. Only to find out later that it does not work or it's not communicating with your Arduino code. This video will show you how to use the Arduino I2C scanner sketch and why you need it before you start programming. I2C or Inter Integrated Circuit, properly pronounced as I2C, is one of the popular communication protocols used to allow multiple sensors to communicate with your microcontrollers. I2C uses two wires which are called the SCL or the serial clock and the SDA or the serial data pins. Well, technically speaking, it still requires four wires as you need the ground and the BCC pins to provide power. It can support multiple controllers or masters and multiple devices or peripheral slaves. The ability to connect multiple sensors on a single bus, which is the sda SEL combination of pins, makes it ideal for any Arduino-powered circuits, especially if you are controlling multiple sensors or components. Because of the I2C's ability to connect multiple devices along its bus or two wires, then the controller or the Arduino-powered board needs to somehow know where to send the data. This is what an I2C address is all about. And this should be a distinct address that ranges from 0 to 127 that will uniquely identify each sensor in your, to your controller. Usually, manufacturers of sensors and I, other I2C components have a default I2C address assigned for their sensors out of the box. The problem with I2C is that you cannot connect two sensors or devices on the same SDA or SEL pin address with the same I2C address. But fortunately, these sensors have the ability to change the default I2C address by soldering some jumper components. Check your sensor data sheets on how to do this. The usual question that I often receive is how they can connect multiple I2C devices or sensors on their Arduino-powered microcontrollers such as the Arduino Uno, ESP8266, or ESP32. If you are new to Arduino programming, then you might be surprised that you only just need to connect the SDA and the SEL combination of your sensors to the same I2C pins of your microcontroller. In the image above, the ESP32 SDA or SEL pins, which is the GPIO21 and 22, are connected in parallel to all my I2C sensors and devices. As I have mentioned, this would only work if each sensor or device has a unique I2C address. So, where does the Arduino I2C scanner or I2C underscore scanner comes into the picture? During your Arduino project development, you will definitely run across these steps. You look for the appropriate sensors or devices for your projects, and then you start wiring the sensors to your Arduino-powered microcontrollers. Next is you will look for a suitable library to drive your sensors or devices, then create your program, and then retrieve the sensor readings. But upon running your programs, you have probably run into the issue in you can't retrieve any sensor readings from my sensor, or why can't I display properly the messages in my I2C LCD display 
or SSD 1306 OLED. The reason is that you miss one crucial step between step 3 and 4. And I would admit that I fall into this trap also. I often get too excited to test my sensor and see the output that I almost forgot to check if my microcontroller detected my sensor or devices in the I2C bus. So, how do we detect if our devices is properly connected to our microcontroller? Well, you should just run the Arduino I2C scanner, which is just actually a small sketch from the Arduino team that will scan all the devices connected to your I2C bus lines. This would print the addresses of the device in hex format that you can use when you want to start communicating with it using the library of your choice. Below is the schematic of the sample project that I have done in the demo wherein I have connected the I2C enabled sensors or devices which are the LCD display, the SSD1306 OLED, and a PCF8575 GPIO port expander module. And this is the table for you to have a better understanding regarding the wiring. The code, it's actually just a simple sketch wherein you just need to upload this in your devices. It just periodically scans or look all the available addresses. So right now, as you can see, it starts with 1 and then it ends with the 1, 2, 7 and then checks if there are any I2C devices connected to your microcontroller. In my case here, I have three. So you can see that I have three devices that is being printed here, which means that my project is now ready to be programmed. So that's really how simple and easy is this very basic Arduino I2C scanner. But as I have mentioned, this simple sketch would solve you a ton of headache later. Believe me. I've been here so many times. And that's it. The write-up for this project is available in the description of this video. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring!